joined today by members of the State Police Headquarters and Troop G staff, the Schoharie County Sheriff Ron Stevens, and National Transportation Safety Board Chairman Robert Sumwalt. Our thoughts and prayers are with the victims and their families following this horrific tragedy. On October 6, 2018, at approximately 1.55 p.m., Schoharie County Sheriff's Office and New York State Police Patrols responded to a motor vehicle crash at the intersection of State Route 30 and State Route 30A in the town of Schoharie. The investigation at the scene revealed that a 2001 Ford excursion limousine was traveling southwest on State Route 30 and failed to stop at the intersection with State Route 30A. The limousine traveled across the intersection into a parking lot and struck a 2015 Toyota Highlander that was unoccupied and parked. Two pedestrians standing nearby were also struck and killed. In total, 20 victims were killed. All were adults. 18 of the victims were uh, in the limousine, including the driver and uh, the two pedestrians that were struck. At this time, the identities of the victims are not being released pending the autopsy results and notification of the family members. The state police have set up a dedicated phone line to assist the family members of the victims in the crash. We encourage them to call 1-877-672-4911 and speak with a member of the state police. I'll repeat that number. That's 1-877-672-4911. In addition to Troop G uniform and BCI members, the Troop G Collision Reconstruction Unit and For Forensic Investigation Unit responded to the scene along with Sco Schoharie County Sheriff's Department members and members of uh, emergency medical services, numerous volunteer um, agencies. I would like to thank our fellow first responders for their assistance during this investigation. The National Transportation Safety Board was also notified and has launched a team to investigate the crash. The scene has been cleared at this time and the victims have been transported to Albany Medical Center where autopsies are now being uh, conducted. The state police investigation is continuing with interviews, evidence processing, and collision reconstruction. Governor Cuomo has directed all state agencies to provide every resource necessary to aid in the investigation and determination of what led to this tragedy. We will answer questions that we can in a moment, but first, I would like to invite NTSB Chairman Sumwalt to say a few words. Thank you very much, First Deputy Super Superintendent Fiore. Uh, I'm Robert Sumwalt, and I'm the Chairman of the National Transportation Safety Board. Uh, NTSB GO team arrived uh, this morning to, to begin our investigation of this crash in Skohari, New York. Uh, before I go any further, I'd certainly like to express our condolences to all of those who have been affected by this tragedy. Our thoughts and prayers go out to them. Uh, the NTSB is an independent federal agency. We're charged by Congress to investigate transportation accidents, determine the probable cause, and issue safety recommendations to prevent the reoccurrence of those crashes. The investigator in charge leading the investigation will be Mr. Pete Katowski. Pete has over three decades of investigative ex experience. Uh, Mr. Katowski is leading a multidisciplinary team with experts in a number of areas, including highway crash reconstruction, survival factors, vehicle factors, including the mechanical condition of the limo, any roadway factors, and the emergency response. Uh, also accompanying the GO team are members from the NTSB's Office of Transportation <coughs> Disaster Assistance. 
they will be helping to coordinate the response for the families of those involved in this tragedy. The NTSB is also working with the New York State Police as they conduct their investigation. We are conducting our separate investigation, but we will be working together. Uh, throughout the next few days, NTSB investigators will work on scene to thoroughly document the scene and to gather what we call the perishable evidence, the information that goes away with the passage of time. Uh, I expect our investigators will be here about five days. Uh, since we're at the very beginning of the investigation, we really don't have uh, any information to report on the actual investigation itself, but we will be keeping you informed through regular updates, either uh, uh, media briefings or through our uh, media sources like Twitter. Uh, it's important to point out that our mission is to point out not only what happened, but why it happened so that we can keep things like this from happening in the future. We will not be determining the cause of the crash while we are on scene. That will come at a later date. Uh, nor will we be speculating on any cause of the crash. We certainly want to thank the first responders. I know it's been a very, very trying 25 hours for all involved. And again, our thoughts and prayers go out to those. I'll turn it back over to the first deputy superintendent. Thank you. Okay, at this time I'll open it to any questions, but uh, please uh, keep in mind, it's very early in the investigation. We have not made notifications to the family members, so that we're going to be very limited on what we can disclose. Mr. Uh, could you say even what regions anyone is from on this, what the party is from? And also, you mentioned that the, the limousine went through. Can you tell uh, through the stop sign? Can you say how you know that? Was it a witness? Or? Well, I'm, I'm not going to uh, discuss at this time uh, you know, the uh, where, where the the limousine came from and where it was heading. As I said, we haven't uh, um, notified all the family uh, members yet, so uh, I'm not going to comment on that at this time. But then in general regions, so that, that they're all upstate or anything like that? Uh, I, I, you know, it's early on in the investigation. I really can't. And also the point about the limousine going through, how do you know that? Is that a witness or some well, other? There were witnesses at the scene, but ju just from the um, uh, the, you know, the evidence discovered at, at, at the crash, it, it, it was apparent that this was uh, the direction of travel and, and uh, what happened. Where was the did, limousine coming from and where was it going? Yeah, I can't comment on that right did, now. Did everyone inside the limousine die, including the driver? Everyone inside the limousine was killed. Was the limousine over capacity, or do you know, or was it fit for the number of people that were actually in it? I, I, I can't discuss that at this point. Do you know what killed them? Was it blood force trauma? I'm, I'm not going to get into that was as well. Was there anybody involved in the accident that survived, was just injured and survived the accident? When, when you say involved in the accident, what do you mean? Like, were there any other bystanders that were in, like, hit or involved in this? I can't comment on that. Are you I'm, going to I'm do not toxicology sure. on the driver? We'll do a thorough investigation, um, including an autopsy of, uh, of uh, all the victims and the driver. Do you know if they were speeding, if the limo was speeding? Like, Don't know that at this time. Is there any brakes? Again, that's part of the investigation. What are the laws pertaining limo drivers? Do they have to have any kind of special licensing, or do passengers have to wear seatbelts inside limo? What are the laws pertaining to that? The, uh, the front seat passengers and the driver would be required to wear a seatbelt. Uh, the passengers in the back would not. And how about when it comes to the limo drivers generally? Do they have to have any sort of special training the, or licensing? There are um, specific designations. Uh, but that's also part of the investigation as to uh, what was required for this particular vehicle. First Deputy, there were uh, two bystanders, is that correct, who, who lost their lives in, in this incident? Uh, there were two pedestrians that were struck. Were they walking along the area or were they going that's to still, That's still uh, um, under investigation. They were not in the, in the uh, limousine. Is there yeah, any no information about the, the record of the driver? Excuse me? Is there any information about the record, the driving record of the driver? Again, that's part of the investigation. Can you identify the company that was operating? Uh, not at this time. 
Just to be clear, those two pedestrians were among the 20 people who were killed, correct? Correct. Was it, again, can you with the seat word, belt, I'm sorry, again with the seat belts, were, was everybody, do we know if everybody in the limo was wearing seat belts? We don't know that at this time. Do you, do you have any idea if, you know, anybody at all had a seat belt on? Or? That is unknown. Well, what's the type of vehicle was it? Um, it was a 2001 Ford Excursion uh, limousine. License in the state of New York? Yes. Is it? Yes. Can you just give a word about the magnitude of this crash? I mean, 20 people killed here. From your experience, just a word about the magnitude of this. I'd rather not comment on that. Can you recall a deadlier incident in this area or New York State? I, again, I, I'm, uh, I, I wouldn't comment on that. This is the third incident that we know of in the last five years that has involved limousines. Can you talk about maybe what you would like to see done in the future to keep people safe inside limos? <coughs> Uh, Chairman that Simmel, the NTSB. Like well, thank you. Uh, the NTSB is very concerned about about safety on our roadways, and uh, we are here. The fact that the NTSB is here indicates that we're very concerned about this. Uh, you asked about the magnitude of this. Twenty fatalities is just horrific. I've been on the board for for twelve years, and uh, this is one of the biggest losses of life loss of lives that we've seen uh, in a long, long time. Colgan Air up at uh, Buffalo killed 40 people, or 50 people, but that, this is the most deadly transportation accident in this country since February of 2009. Mr. Fiore, uh, do you have an estimate of the speed Luna was traveling, and do you believe it was um, in compliance with the regulations at the area? Uh, we do not have an estimate at this time. That's part of the investigation. Is there any indication of weather might have been involved, say fog, wet roads, anything like that? Again, that, that will uh, all be part of the collision reconstruction. Was there one put on set on the scene, or did anyone get taken by med flight? I believe there was one victim that was uh, transported to Albany Med uh, with a medevac. Last and question. It, to the first superintendent, sir, did the, um, when the, that intersection, have you found through your record that there's been a lot of accidents there, an unusual number of accidents? I, I can't speak to that um, either. I, you know, it's a T intersection. Uh, with a yes. with a 50 mile an hour speed, I can't speak to that at this time. Can I just ask the NTSB one more question? What are you, what are you guys working on to, that you might think that needs to be changed around that area to prevent uh, other accidents like this happening? Because people in the area said that this is quite common. So the, so the question is, what specifically would the NTSB be looking at to help prevent accidents or crashes like this in the future? Um, we, we, at this point in time, we look at everything. We look at the vehicle factors. We look at the roadway. We look at survival factors. We look at the, at the condition of the drivers, the licensing of the drivers. We look at the operator itself, the company. We look at everything. We, pro, we, we cast a very broad net to see what's out there. And then in our analysis phase is where we start winnowing it down. Uh, but we do, uh, typically, uh, we do, uh, conduct very thorough investigations, and we uh, come out with recommendations designed to prevent these things in the future. That's okay, why, sure that is sure why we are here. I'm sorry, she called, she called for the last, last that's question. the last question. She called Thank the last question. Thank you all for coming. Uh, I have a question for Mr. Harris County Sheriff. Do you want to ask Thank you. Thank you all. I appreciate it.